Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today, or this week, has been another exciting week and we have our third developer preview of Android P or the second beta if you want to look at it that way. And today I'll be showing you how to update your Pixel 2 from the second developer preview to the third one. And we're going to be using Fastboot to do this and of course our, our Pixel has been rooted so we're also going to be rerouting it as well. So hopefully uh, everything goes well and of course as usual during the beta if you do experience any problems uh, please do try a factory reset first and if that doesn't solve it you may want to uh, be inclined to fill out a bug report or at least report it somewhere so someone can fix it well to get started we're on the ppp2 build number of android p had to cover my imei but uh, let's get started so there are a few things we need to download and first up is the latest version of the sdk platform tools now this is just so we can communicate with our phone using adb or fastboot and this is how we're going to flash the new images. Next up, we want to download the latest version or the third developer preview of Android P. So we can uh, click on download for pixels here. I'll have the direct link uh, in the more info. But all you have to do is scroll down and select the one that is right for your device. So in this case, I have the Pixel 2 and that is what I'm going to be downloading. So you can click on it, read and agree to the terms and conditions and download the factory image. Next up, we want to make sure we have the latest version of TWRP as well. So I'm going to download uh, this, whoops, okay, this image. I just want to download the image. I'm not too keen on, I don't need to install uh, TWRP on there, but uh, I'll do it anyways, just for this video. So you're going to need to download the zip file as well. The, the same version, at least. So I'm just gonna download that. Okay, while well, that's downloading, the last thing you want to download is the Magisk uh, latest Magisk beta just for I guess uh, more compatibility with Android P uh, com then compared to the latest stable. So once you have everything downloaded you should have these four files inside a folder somewhere just to keep it neat. Well, first up we're going to extract the platform tools. This is uh, required so we can flash the stuff to our phones. What we want to extract is the ADB executable and also the two DLLs underneath. We're going to extract the fastboot exe, quite important, as well as the libwin pthread one DLL, the make 2f uh, f two fs exe, and the make 2fs configuration and exe files as well. Uh, I don't think those are necessarily necessary for this tutorial, but it will save you a bit of headache when you try to, you know, erase or format partitions via fastboot. You'll need those. So once you've done that, we can close the platform tools zip file. Next up. We want to open up the Android P beta factory image, open up the folder inside, and extract the bootloader, radio, and image files outside just like that. We're going to be using the fastboot update command to do this. Alternatively, you can flash everything inside manually uh, if, these, if the update command doesn't really work for you. Sweet, now once we've done that, we can close the factory image and all you have to do is make sure you've copied Magisk to your device. I have that. I have done that already. So make sure you have Magisk on your device. If you want to reroot, you don't have to reroot your device, of course. And what we're going to do is reboot our phone into the bootloader. So to do that, we're going to hold the power button and then press restart and just hold the volume down button as soon as the screen freezes or turns black, so now, and wait for it to boot into the bootloader. It may take a while, but just keep holding it until your phone boots into it. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and go back to our computer where we will open up a command prompt window in the same directory. So I'm just gonna slim this about. And what you wanna do is, you can do the shift right click, but uh, I guess another way to do it, you can go up to the address bar and type in CMD, hit enter, and that will change the directory to exactly where your folder is, uh, very handy. So I'm just going to resize this a little bit. There we go. And the first thing we want to do is type in fastboot devices. This is just uh, so we can check that our device is connected successfully in fastboot. It will return your serial number if it is. And then we're going to flash the bootloader. So again, uh, there are two different slots that we need to flash these usually. Uh, you can take note of your current slot down here on the bootloader screen where it says boot slot. Mine says A. And basically what it is is that you can add on underscore A or underscore B or even underscore other to the end of the existing partition name 
and that will flash or erase or format that specific partition in that specific slot. So I'm going to, I'm going to be using the other uh, suffix and also if it doesn't work for you then you just need to manually uh, determine which slot you need to flash. This is only really for the bootloader and radio images I think. So yeah, with that being said we can go ahead and flash those now. We type in fastboot flash bootloader. Now if you don't specify any slot it'll flash the current slot. We'll drag in our bootloader image and let that update. Excellent, and then we're going to flash the other bootloader after rebooting back into the same bootloader. So I'm going to type in, uh, sorry, fastboot, reboot, dash bootloader. Hit enter, and wait for our phone to reboot back into the bootloader. Now we're going to uh, flash the bootloader B, or bootloader underscore other. So I'm going to use fastboot, flash, bootloader. Now I'll just, I'll reiterate again. Yeah, you can use other for it to automatically flash your alternate boot slot but if that doesn't work you need to make sure you flash it to the B slot if you're currently on the A slot and vice versa so we're going to type in flash bootloader underscore other leave a space after that and drag in the bootloader image okay and we're going to reboot back into the bootloader once more again you can hit the up arrow key on your keyboard to go to a previous command that you've sent before we're going to flash the radio images now, same thing. Type in fastboot, flash radio, leave a space after that, and flash, oh sorry, drag in the radio image. We're going to reboot back into the bootloader again, and then we're going to type in fastboot, flash radio, underscore, you can say underscore B this time, if you're on bootsol A, otherwise you can say radio underscore A, and then drag in our bootloader, sorry, our radio image, like so. And then we're going to reboot once more back into the bootloader. So now we're going to use the fastboot update command. We're going to type in fastboot uh, double dash uh, skip dash reboot. This is this is so our phone doesn't automatically reboot once the image finishes updating. So and then we're going to type in update, leave a space in the end, and drag in our image uh, dash walleye or whatever the pixel two XLs one is, and hit enter and that'll update all the images it has inside to the respective partitions and also um, it won't reboot our phone automatically. This won't wipe your device either as we have omitted the dash W flag. So we're just going to wait for this to extract and flash everything and once that's done we're going to install TWRP as well. Okay now that's done we can go ahead and boot up the TWRP image so I'm going to type in fastboot boot, leave a space at the end, and drag in our TWRP image. Hit enter, and our phone should automatically boot into the, well, boot into TWRP. Now while we wait for our phone to do boot up, you may also would have wanted to copy over the TWRP installer if you plan on installing TWRP, just quickly. Enter in our pattern, hopefully it works. Yeah, so I've been getting this for, I think just currently, this developer preview. It did work before, but I'll hit cancel and then keep read only. And what I'm going to do is reboot back into Android before rooting our device. And now I'm going to remove the screen lock. You only have to do that if you can't decrypt your data partition, like what just happened to me just then. Otherwise, you can just normally go in and flash those Okay, so our device is booted up. It took a couple of minutes. Everything looks like it's still all right. So let's just unlock our device and remove our screen lock real quick. Okay, that's cool. They've let us know that the do not disturb thing has changed. And uh, in my Android P overview video, I do mention how useful the new do not disturb is. And what we're going to do is go into security. I think it's here and then go to screen lock Confirm my pattern, change it to swipe, and remove your fingerprints, I think. Unfortunately, but, you know, that's the price we have to pay for all this cool stuff that we can do. And, of course, we're going to reboot back into the bootloader. I realize I just forgot to copy over the 
TWRP installer, but we can do that later anyway. Yep, and then we're going to flash, or sorry, brute the TWRP image again, like so, and then we should be able to access the TWRP stuff, or our data partition, I should say. Okay, now we're in, and of course you saw that it didn't actually ask for any screen unlocks. So first things first, if you want, we need to flash TWRP. So to do that, um, I'm just going to quickly copy over the TWRP installer. And let's locate that and flash that first. Okay, that's done. And to assure you there's no trickery, I'm going to disconnect the USB cable. And then uh, we're going to reboot back into the recovery. Like so, and then we're going to flash Magisk from there. And we should have all the our modules back there and all our root applications working again. So I guess in future to avoid any of this, uh, these extra steps, I guess, you could actually just remove the screen lock prior to updating, uh, which is probably what I'll recommend from this point onwards. Now I'm just going to wait for our phone to boot into TWRP. We're going to tap into install. I'm going to locate my Magisk zip file. Swipe to confirm flash. Once that's done, we can tap on reboot system and that'll take us back to Android P. Okay, we can tap on OK. Wait for the things to load. Let's have a look at Magisk Manager. There we go. And that, that works just fine. Let's see if I have any root apps. I think Swift Backup is one. Let's have a look at that, and that should be okay as well. Yes, root status granted. And of course, uh, we should also be on the latest Android P update, at least after our system update finishes doing whatever it needs to do. I think it should say here, Android beta program, PP3, and that build number there. So yeah, we're rooted and on the latest version of Android, or the Android P beta. And uh, we haven't lost any data as all my stuff is still here and everything's connecting back. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, if you have any other questions or any requests that you'd like to see done on this channel, feel free to leave it in the Discord. And as well, as you can leave it in the YouTube comments down below. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and happy flashing.